Okay, so as you guys know, I'm a big fan of The Dark Knight and Batman Begins, and I've been following The Dark Knight Rises very closely, and I like the trailer a lot, and you know, I thought it was just perfect, because the teaser for The Dark Knight was just a symbol with dialogue. I mean, you got nothing. In this one, we actually got footage from the film and a shot of Batman and Bane, and you know, that's a lot compared to the Dark Knight teaser. They recently released some new photos of the Dark Knight fighting Bane in front of what looks like possibly some form of a jailbreak, and I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the photo because obviously we have no idea. Now it's not much of a spoiler to say that Batman fights Bane in the movie because obviously that's gonna happen. I mean, it has to happen. That's like the whole thing with Bane and Batman. He's the only villain who is ever able to really physically intimidate Batman to the point of him being frightened. And that's something I really like because I was thinking about Batman Begins in The Dark Knight. Batman has never been scared of one of the villains. The whole thing with Batman Begins was him overcoming fear of bats and what happened to him as a child and everything. But at the end of the film, you know, he stands right up to Ra's al Ghul. You know, he's like, he's to, he's there. He, he's like a physical match for Ra's al Ghul. In The Dark Knight, he was never actually scared of the Joker physically or being harmed by the Joker. The Joker just challenged him in mental ways, in psychological ways. He challenged Batman's rules and the way he governed over Gotham City. And so he was sort of a psychological opponent. Batman's never been frightened by an opponent. And I find that so cool because I just, I just sat down and I thought about it, wow. This is going to be the first time we're going to see Batman, like, dude, <laughs> crap, <laughs> what am I going to do? And I, I kind of geeked out for a second thinking about that because I, I realized that Batman's never actually been challenged physically and we're finally going to be able to see that. So these photos show Batman and him fighting and they're surprisingly very good set photos. And this photo in particular, I really like the look that Bale has here. That look is telling me that that might even be one of the first moments where he's like, oh, shit. Shoot! Bane can fight! So yeah, I'm totally geeking out over that. And uh, they also had an image of the bat pod, which is pretty cool. Also, a lot of people have been talking about this shot at the end of the trailer. You see someone standing behind Batman. And a lot of people are like, who is this guy? And it's, it's like Christopher Nolan knew that we were all going to do that. It's like he's just sitting there like, hmm, yes, we should add in that shot. Because it's very cool. But all of the Batman nerds will be asking who that is, and I am the greatest filmmaker alive. Here's my take on what I think it is. In the trailer, you hear Gordon talking about how Batman needs to come back. Then, obviously, we, we're, I'm assuming that's because at the end of The Dark Knight, Batman takes the fall for all the bad things that happens, and I'm assuming that Gotham City is going to hate Batman at the start of this film. I'm thinking that Batman is going to be the only person in Gotham City who stands up to Bane, and the whole city is going to be watching, and Batman will win over Gotham through that. That's that's just what I think that Batman, it, Gotham's going to have to look and say, shoot, Batman's awesome. More than likely, I'm wrong because Christopher Nolan always surprises me, and that would be absolutely fine with me. So yeah, those are some news in The Dark Knight Rises. I'm about to go see a screening of The Change Up. I'll have my review for that when I get back. Hope you guys enjoy it and have a good day.